So there's no doubt that the brain is a, a self-organising system um, in the sense that the sort of global mental phenomena that we're often most interested in, beliefs, desires and so on, are in some sense high-level emergent phenomena that are based on lots of local interactions between neurons following little locally defined rules. What consequences that has, I think, is still very much an open question. Um, on the one hand, it might have a very radical consequence. Indeed, some people have argued that we should not think of the brain anymore as tuned to picking up information that exists out there in the environment. Because once we think of the brain as this self-organising system, the most exciting thing, if, it, if you like, the neurologic, is very internally oriented. And it's what we really need to understand is the way the brain, uh, as a self-organising system, constructs or creates structure meaning. Given what we now don't think of as a pro think, don't think of as a process of picking up information from the environment, we think of what the environment does as in some sense provoking or nudging or uh, perturbing in the language that some people use, these internal structures. Now if one takes that view, one is now I think seeing cognition as a process of much more creation and construction rather than representation and recapitulation of external structures.